So this is basically your standard Swagman kit. This is pretty much all the things I ended up using both nights. War One, World War Two era um, water canteen. It's just an enamel um, blue canteen. Then we've got for fishing, we've got a hobo reel and you can store a few more bits of kit. Then we've got the knife. So made this knife. You can see it's uh, kind of copped a real beating. I didn't go lightly on it this trip. I really smashed it around. This one's from trying to cut in half a pretty thick mutton bone, so a lamb bone. And that's from um, sticking the knife underneath uh, the husk of trees to kind of pull the bark off them uh, to make our shelters. So I did that a lot. All right, so this is essentially everything in my um, haversack. So the billy's been great. That's um, actually just an old Milo tin. You can use an old coffee tin as well. Some proper cutlery from my grandma. Um, this knife has been ground down so much, the shape has completely changed. So this was sharpened on my great grandpa's old gully trap in their backyard. And this one's a proper enamel bowl. Uh, again, this is my great grandfather's. Coffee grinds, we used half of it. Uh, made a couple cowboy coffees. Jam, had that on bread and damper was really nice. Um, whiskey, so more whiskey on top of the flask of whiskey. You can never have too much whiskey. I think me and Al both bought like 750 mils of whiskey each. This is some um, leftover jerky, so that was great. Oats for breakfast, really good, really light filling meal. Salt, uh, just like a kind of spice, oil and salt and pepper. The harp, the harmonica, and a case for it. The gloves are perfect. You can just pick the billy straight up, deal with really hot items. Uh, really, really good having some gloves. Now, newspaper, not what you think. Wasn't to start fires. Actually used for toilet paper. Didn't have toilet paper back then. Had to use the newspaper. And then, yeah, this is a beeswaxed um, kind of cotton wrap. So making these is really easy and pretty satisfying. You just get some beeswax, sprinkle over the beeswax, put it in the oven and it all melts through and you kind of brush it to make sure it's even and then just let it dry. But this was great. I stored a, a salami roll in this for two, two and a half days and worked really well. So clothes, got a pair of leather boots. Uh, these are riding boots made by RM Williams. They're very popular in Australia. And we've just got jeans, belt, leather boots, uh, just a flannel, and a tank top, and then a wide brimmed hat. This is an Akubra, classic Australian hat, been around forever. An oilskin jacket, so um, this is just a classic one. It's made by Birkin Wills, so it's super adventure -y. Working on the Bowie knife. The Bowie knife. The Bowie knife. That's not a knife. That's a knife. I'll just leave that whole bit as the blade. Just make it really uh. Just leave it like this. It's in grip. Oh yeah, man. Oh, great for your hand. I've made my filing jig, and I'm just filing my test blade. And then so working on the main blade, um, I did this one here that was a basically a test blade. So it's a bit of a dog's breakfast. Um, so that's kind of the learning blade. And now this is the proper one. So yeah, just trying to get a nice bevel on it now. Okay, so been sanding lots. Um, yeah, this is where I'm kind of at. Got to sand this side. And then I reckon heat treatment time. Come on, really good. Knife making. Bit of fun. Like, harder than you think, but also not harder than you think. Anyone can do it. So I got my knife back from the heat treater. So it comes back like a little bit browned up and singed, but I've started already kind of peeling that back, just putting the final edge on it. All right, so sharpened on the whetstone. Should have a bit of an edge now. Um, not the sharpest, I need to get a strop, but uh, yeah, coming up, come up all right. Proper knife. Ooh, that's better than I thought. That's good. Is that one with the killer? And you know it. And I've already gotten away with it too. It wasn't for that friendly window. Hey. Alright, 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 Ellie, you're gonna call it. You're gonna call it. What am I calling animals? Just, just, you look so good. What do you want, Ellie? 
Shaped out. Oh. Pokemon. Wild shock. Yeah! Oh. I would pin down, I would pin down. Go. I just don't know about the steel. You'll know, it's probably, nah, it's probably like, um, like 45 minutes to an hour. Just, just uh, working on the sheath, polished up the handle, it's come up super nice, looks really legit. We'll see how it ends up, hopefully it doesn't look too terrible. Morning, mate. Morning, mate. <laughs> oh, God. Here we go, you champ. <laughs> Bro. Mate, saving the G Wagon with the mighty Lux. Mate, got him. Love that the out uh, in the G wagon. Yeah, yeah, it's that's fun. sick. Yeah. Give it some beans, Simone. Don't eat shit though. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Keep going. Yes. Woohoo! Oh, dude, they are full sending it. That's freaking dope. What an adventure. Fishing. How good fishing, Craig? Oh, fishing. We literally caught a Mercedes G wagon. <laughs> Wow. Oh, we did it. That's it. Okay, cool. Oh my god, threading a sight machine is hard. This bit is confusing. Alright, so I feel like my tarp's way too big, so I've doubled it over and I'm going to cut it in half and have two much thinner tarps. So, just to really make sure I've shrunk it down as much as I can, um, I'm going to chuck it in the boiling water again and then put it in the dryer and that should really close up all those holes before I start my waterproofing, eh? So that's a full um, oil skin. So I've just done the linseed oil and the mineral terps. I haven't added the iron oxide this time. Hopefully that doesn't burn my house down too. Got a little fire extinguisher there. Ready to rock and roll. Cause um, Linseed oil is very flammable. So I got oil skin number two um, with the iron oxide. That's going to be the main tarp because I reckon it'll be more waterproof with the iron oxide in it. And then that's other oil skin, which is going to be for the swag. All right, I'll give it a quick water test. It's a bloody huge red back. Sitting right on this the other day, so there's not a family in She a big ready. She's a big... Red back, don't want to get stung by that. Damn, she thick. Classic Australian, you know, everything's trying to kill ya. It's fairly promising actually, so that's the really wet side. And on the inside, it's dry as a bone, dry as a bone. So it's a Saturday night in lockdown in Victoria, watching some Netflix and hand sewing. Just started like the first stitch of my haversack. Oh my God, that took a long friggin' time. After lots of hand sewing, have finally done my haversack. Bent so many needles, punching through like five layers of oiled canvas. Got a couple pockets, really munted the pockets, started really good, then stopped paying attention and made a pretty weird looking pocket. 
Got my gold mining pan, which I will use also as a cooking pan when I'm camping. Oh, Melbourne, hail. Really, mate. And 15 seconds later, we're back. Fire survived. And we're good to keep cooking. Beautiful. Let's eat. Stay for it. Oh my God. Check this out. My nan gave me this. This is her uncle's box camera. It's an old Kodak. This one's from the, maybe like, I don't know, 1910, 1920, something like that. World War One era. How cool is that? 620 popular brownie, box brownie camera. Me done of the Crocs in full drive mode. No, you might slip, mate. Two wheel drive. Oh now. no. Slipping in four if I. You might come out. Shit. Jesus. Loose, you're a loose man. What I No, nah, lantern gang. Tiny. Lantern gang. Oh, we got period correct you oil lantern. lantern. Go shine up there. Look how small this torch is. It's the size of. Can you see? Just turn, turn your torch off. It's the size of that. Let me turn my lantern. Right, let me lantern. turn my lantern on full. There Where's the brush tail possum, you Brandon? Can see him. You Where's can see the brush? Oh, hold on. Let me turn it down. It's too bright. It's overexposed. You know what he used to? Yeah. This oil is heating up. Feel how hot that is. No, I don't want to touch it. Feel how hot my lantern is. The humble WR250R Sand Machine Lord of the Sand Gang Gang God of Sand So for my billy can, this is just a Milo tin. Um, I'm gonna use a coat hanger, snip it, and then drill some holes in the side for the handle. And that's your freaking Aussie billy. Can't get more, more Aussie than a Milo can. Nice. Made in Australia wool blankets. Pure new wool made in Australia. A product of Laconia. Laconia woolen mills. So here are the two layers. Outer layer with the iron oxide. And this one's just linseed and mineral uh, terps. No iron oxide in that one. And then, um, yeah, idea is this one's the sleeping swag. So I'll wrap that up with my wool blankets. And then this one is like just a tarp to keep rain off you. So that one might go over the top. There it is all wrapped up. So it's got an old belt on it and a strap. Um, looks not light. Wouldn't say super heavy either though. But that's a tarp, a sleeping swag, you know, three wool blankets. That's a couple of things in there. Looks good. So that's a bit of a size comparison. That's kind of how big it is, and I'll weigh it in a minute. That's the whole thing. What did that come out to? 12.6, okay, not too bad. Not too bad. Night one in the swag, so I'm in my mate's garage. Uh, we just had a big night having a few drinks. Uh, this is the garage. I'm out here because it's going to be pretty cold tonight, about nine degrees, but I'm not out in the rain, so it's a good tester. Um, yeah, pretty warm so far, fully clothed, got two wool blankets and another blanket, so it's kind of three blankets. And yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, off to bed now and I'll report back in the morning. 
So I made it to morning. Actually, really comfortable. Stayed super warm. Swag all packed up. Um, yeah, successful first swag.